Hey guys, out here today in Panama City Beach, Florida on our Sea News Switch, we found some rough water. Wanted to do a torture test, kind of show you what the boat does in big water like this. And uh, also too, if you'll stick with us at the end, we're gonna give you our uh, feedback on what we feel about this thing. Let's go do it. watching right now and you want to see more switch videos do me a favor find the like button below that really helps us a lot it helps others find our videos hit the subscribe button and the notification bell you'll see new content every time we drop it fun waves are big today we got some really major swells and some some big breakers uh, took some over the bow found that the trim is really helpful we got a trim on this boat so we can trim the nose up trim the nose down the nose trimmed up it didn't take a lot of water over the bow like it did with the nose trimmed down if you're gonna be in big water and you're concerned about maybe bringing your boat to the beach or just if you live on your boat on a big lake or big open conditions like this you don't have to worry about feeling safe your family's gonna you know, maybe have a wild ride but <laughs> Definitely not gonna feel unsafe. So we're back in the studio now here at Jetboat Pilot and uh, wanted to respond to some questions that we started seeing on YouTube after we launched this video for the first time around. People had a lot of questions and we felt like it was important to give that information to you now. So we're gonna do a little interview style setup here, do some question and answer. How did the boat handle whenever you're out there? So in the rough stuff, I was actually really surprised. This boat, although 18 feet and very lightweight, it felt like a much heavier boat. Uh, I would say I'm, I'm used to driving V-holes, uh, more of your traditional uh, rough water boat, and those boats tend to, to kind of hit the water and hit hard, and you know there's a, a bit of a jarring. Um, but this boat, honestly, it surprised me. Uh, because it's got triple tunes, uh, it was, really stable and a lot smoother than I expected, especially for a lightweight boat. So I would say definitely better than expected. Is there anything you wouldn't try out there in the rough water? So obviously I would say, first of all, don't try this at home. Uh, we were out in some rough stuff that day. Uh, we, uh, we were near to the shoreline where the breakers are coming in. And when you see breakers, don't go there. If you notice in the video, I didn't cross the breakers. I didn't get in there and get sideways because when you do, you can get rolled. So don't try this at home. If you do, stay out in the rollers. Don't get into the breakers. How fast were you going? 20, 25 miles an hour. We kind of kept the speed pretty consistent, average cruise speed, so uh, pretty stable. And honestly, I was surprised I was able to maintain that kind of speed and still be comfortable. And how big were the swells out there? Uh, at times, they were over our head. Uh, the GoPros don't show the real size or magnitude of those waves. But at times we would get down in the bottom of those troughs and the water would be over our head on the next one. So um, again, not the kind of boating weather you'd want to take your family into, but definitely a good test for this boat. How long were you out there and how long would you recommend someone be out there? So in the rough stuff, I think we probably had all total film time in the rough, maybe 15, 20 minutes. Big water and a boat like this, obviously this boat wasn't made for big water like that. If you find yourself in it, uh, you're not gonna be in any kind of danger. Uh, but it is always best to be in calmer waters. 
Uh, we found ourselves going with the wind and with the current. It actually was kind of pleasant. So it wasn't that we couldn't stay, uh, but I'm always trying to find calmer waters just for me and my family. So that'd be kind of up to you. That'd be subjective. How much horsepower does your switch have? So we have the 2022 Switch Cruise. It's 170 horsepower. Uh, more than enough power, I felt like, for the situation that we were in. Do you feel that the 230 horsepower would handle any differently? I don't think so. I think that we would have a little more acceleration out of the hole uh, and more speed on the top end. But for what we were doing, uh, especially out in this rough stuff like this, never felt like I was needing power. Last question. Everybody's asking about these floor tiles. What are they and how can they get them? Yeah, so that's a beta product. It's getting ready to roll out soon, probably spring of 2023. Uh, to summer 2023 launch. Um, it's a snap down product from Marine Matt. We're making it here in house and uh, that'll be available on the website soon. If you have any questions about it, just hit us in the comments and we'll answer them for you. Big thumbs up to Sea Dew and the engineers for uh, creating a boat that's really a pleasure to ride, even in this rough stuff here. We're going to have some more fun. We'll see you next time. Woo!